American Horror Story Season 10 had wrapped all necessary pre-production and was ready to begin shooting back in March of this year, when the entire film and television industry shut down due to the COVID-19 outbreak. Six months later, while the United States is still in pretty bad shape when it comes to minimizing the spread of the virus, within the last month or so we have seen many productions resume with increased safety measures. And whether or not this is the right move ethically or not, Ryan Murphy has confirmed that FX has approved the go-ahead on resuming production of the highly anticipated 10th season of American Horror Story in October. Sarah Paulson has talked to The Wrap about the intensive protocols production is putting in place to protect the cast and crew. She stated, quote, In terms of protocols, you can't even imagine the emails I get and the documents I get. And the consideration around all of it has been extraordinary. Disney and Ryan Murphy television have all been very, very on top of it. And so I feel as protected as I can feel given that I will be mask free working on a set around a bunch of people. So it's definitely intimidating and nerve wracking, but I've been told by people who have done it that the lead up to it, because we've all been in our houses for months and months and all of a sudden what was normal to spend hours and hours on set with over a hundred people now seems so far away and so impossible to imagine that the thought of doing it feels really scary. But apparently once you're there and see all the protocols that have been taken, people tend to feel more relaxed as they expected to. So here's hoping." End quote. Of course the situation is evolving at a rapid pace and you can never be sure what might happen next. While many productions are resuming, some have been shut back down and I'm sure some are having second thoughts. This quote from Sarah Paulson was before the positive test that occurred on the heavily monitored set of The Batman, so again, nothing is set in stone. But AHS is a much smaller production than Batman, so it is quite possible that production feels confident enough that they can make it through the season without any risks to the health of the cast and crew. In this interview, Sarah also stated that production for the third season of American Crime Story, subtitled Impeachment, would begin filming before AHS in mid-September. At the time of me filming this video right now, there hasn't been any confirmation that the season is filming just yet, but based on the original shooting timeline, that should be beginning at any moment now. It seems as though Sarah will be pulling double duty once again with the productions of both shows expected to overlap, similar to how Hotel and The People vs. O.J. Simpson were simultaneously being shot with Sarah in large roles back in 2015. With the current production schedule in mind for season 10, we can assume that the plan is to premiere the season during the winter television season, which, if you don't know, begins in January 2021. So we could be getting a release in January or February, or even as late as March, assuming they are aiming for a winter television season release. Assuming production runs smoothly, I expect this to be the case, but a summer or fall premiere date may end up occurring if they hit any speed bumps between now and then. American Horror Story Season 10's cast was announced earlier in the year and will star AHS alums Sarah Paulson, Evan Peters, Angelica Ross, Kathy Bates, Leslie Grossman, Billy Lord, Adina Porter, Lily Rabe, Finn Wittrock, and AHS newcomer Macaulay Culkin. With the massive delay the season has faced, it is unclear if any scheduling conflicts have come up with these actors, but as of now, it is presumed that these are still our 10 main cast members for the season. I tell you. It's something, obviously, that's never been done before. This is not so far a season, as far as I know. I've only read two of the scripts. My opinion is that it's uncharted territory. You know how sometimes we do like Coven and then in Apocalypse, those characters came back, right? Yes. So this season is not that, I can tell you that. Okay. It's totally new. But as you know, there's some actors from earlier seasons that are coming, which is great. Yes. It is my understanding, and this is all I'm gonna say, and I hope Ryan won't kill me, that this season is gonna be broken up in a way that has never happened before. Oh my gosh. And that's all I can say. Well, when you... I, ah, no. I can't tell you anything else. Initially, Ryan said he was considering pushing the season 10 concept to season 11 because it was apparently very weather dependent and he was unsure how he would be able to achieve certain things without filming when he was initially planning on filming. And he said he would then use a different new concept for season 10. But now it seems he is back to the original beach revolving idea as possibly evidenced by a hint he posted to social media.
In late August, Ryan Murphy teased a huge hint towards the season on his Instagram, sharing a low-res image of some sharp teeth while also stating that the filming taking place in October is, quote, fitting. Almost instantly, fans reverse image searched the teeth and they corroborate an early theory about the season, sirens or mermaids. With the cast announcement taking place at a beach and filming initially being planned to take place in the beach town of Provincetown, mermaids have been a big theory for the season from the get-go. When this image is reverse searched, the main results are one of two things. Number one, the teeth for a Pennywise the Clown costume, or number two, the teeth of a siren. In case you're unfamiliar, sirens are a mythological creature commonly portrayed as evil, frightening, and dangerous. Like mermaids, they are part human and part fish, but they are more commonly associated with horror than, say, Ariel or Aquamarine. I highly doubt Ryan is planning on reviving clowns for a third season now, so I'm fairly confident that these creatures will play a part this season. It seems as though this will be an ocean and beach-themed season dealing with at least one mythical creature. Another early theory this season was that it may revolve around cryptids, and this could still be possible. Who knows what other creatures are roaming, or swimming around this beach town. All of these theories are backed up by that one line from American Horror Story 1984 that many believed hinted towards this season. Quote, back in the 70s, all anyone cared about was Bigfoot, aliens, and the Loch Ness Monster, all that Leonard Nimoy in search of stuff. Like Nessie, sirens are classified as a sea monster, and the hint could stop right there, or we may even see some sort of Sasquatch or alien appearing this season, or other cryptids, X-Files type creatures. So let me know what you think of all of these hints in the comments below. If you guys have a lot of theories regarding this season, I might have to do a whole video regarding season 10 theories, so let me know. And then right as I took my latest hiatus from this channel, a new AHS spinoff was announced under the name American Horror Stories, with the basic concept being that each episode will tell its own standalone story, with notable AHS cast members taking part in broadening the world and the lore of American Horror Story itself. Think Black Mirror in the AHS universe. It is also worth noting that American Horror Stories will be exclusively streaming on Hulu, as a part of their new heap of content under the FX on Hulu umbrella. It seems as though the spinoff will be streaming sometime next year, so it might be time to steal your friend's Hulu password or something. Hulu just released a little teaser for the show as a part of a larger promo for the FX on Hulu brand. There's no new footage, however, it does give us the first look at the show's logo, so check it out. Times may have changed, but the nature of evil has not. Angelica Ross and Sarah Paulson are the first AHS cast members that have expressed interest in the project, with Sarah mostly being interested in taking on a directing role for at least one of the episodes, like she did for Return to Murder House. I know Angelica Ross is also looking to lengthen her behind-the-camera resume as well, so I think this spinoff would be a great place for AHS alum to get to tell their own stories in this universe. Personally, I'm very excited for this spinoff, and I really hope it pans out. If I were to put money on it, I would guess that this series would mostly tell brand new stories with a couple of episodes acting as prequels or follow-ups to stories explored in the show. I'm imagining an episode like Season 8's Return to Murder House, but instead of catching up with the Murder House characters, we're instead catching up with characters from, say, Hotel, Freak Show, Roanoke, Cult. I'd be very interested in that. And even if none of the episodes are related to any stories from the show itself, imagine a few episodes revolving around each of the mysterious season six promos where they really explored a lot of areas that the main show has yet to cover. The opportunities are endless with this show and I'm very excited just thinking about what they could do with this. If they do want to do episodes connecting to previous seasons, like imagine um, a prequel to Roanoke taking place completely in the setting of the Roanoke colony, giving us some more background to that, or even a follow-up to Cult, which left on a very open-ended note, I'd love to see what happened to Ali after that final shot of Colt. There's so much they can do with this, and honestly, I could do a whole video about what I would like to see in it, so let me know if you want to see that video too, and let me know what you want to see in American Horror Stories, 
what concepts you would like them to explore, whether or not you want them to actually reference the actual show itself or be completely new stories. Let me know in the comments. I don't know about you all, but I'm actually really pumped for this. All I can hope for is that they really stick to the AHS tone and not completely rip off shows like The Twilight Zone or Black Mirror. All right, so that's all the American Horror Story news I've got for you today. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed this and subscribe for more AHS news and horror related content. I have a bunch of videos coming out within the next month, so turn on the bell notification if you are so inclined, and uh, let me know what you're most looking forward to in season 10, and let me know your best theories. I know this is technically only like my fifth or sixth video of the year, but trust me, I am back from my break and I'm ready to keep making more content for you guys. It's a bit of a bummer that we aren't reviewing and theorizing about a new season this fall, but Ratched seems to be a tonally similar placeholder this year with Sarah Paulson starring, and of course, Ryan Murphy and Ian Brennan are the showrunners. So if you guys are watching that, uh, look out for my review of that entire season coming soon. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.